I am so angry today. I don't know why. I overslept. I'm just cursing. I'm throwing things. I'm just having the worst pain in the world. I, the worst thoughts are going through my head. Extremely violent. Extremely violent today. Oh my god. I am. I, I want to explode. I want to explode on <clears throat> somebody. Not a good day. Not a good day at all. So I've recently been diagnosed with DID. It's a disassociative type of disorder. It's kind of like multiple personalities. And one of the things that um, everybody can see clearly that's close to me is how different I was from night and day. I wonder if the expression night and day comes from there. No, it doesn't. It's a difference in night and day. But anyways, a couple of years back when I was for the first time away from my wife for a while, I was one person during the day. I'm not saying I was all good, all kind, but I definitely wasn't an a-hole constantly. Um, I would be having normal conversations with my wife, and then at night, I would be this mean, horrible, harsh, awful person to her. And I feel terrible about that. But now I'm realizing, like, where that comes from. I was disassociating. I was a, the person that was coming out that I repressed during the day was this very angry version of me, this extremely upset Trish at the world. And I don't feel that when I'm me. But believe me, she, she had it very rough having to... She didn't have to deal with me. She chose to deal with me, which I'm appreciative for. But I was very mean at night to her. I said things that I can't believe I said. And um, right now, that's part of the reason they don't want me um, engaging in f with family or friends during this blackout phase. Because um, I could make things a lot worse. Because I'm going to get worse before I get better. My personalities are becoming more distinct, cycling, and at night... What happens at night is I get up, I eat, I trash my room. Every morning I'm so embarrassed. I feel so dirty, so much shame, so gross, like nastiness. I wake up with food on my mouth, food on my clothes, food in my bed, clothes all over the place. It's like, what were you doing, Trish? Were you having a party and you didn't invite me? And it's so embarrassing. I, so I'll spend most of the day trying to like reorganize, put things away. Then on the weekend I do it really well, like completely put everything away in the right place. And I just, every morning, she's all over the place. Food's all over the place. Disgusting, Trish. And I, I, I really don't like that. It's going to make me gain weight. You know, if I'm going to eat food and gain weight, I want to remember that. Um, I don't like, it's super embarrassing. And everything about what I do is a reflection on me. I take pride in what I wear and how I look. And when I wake up and my room's looking disgusting, that makes me feel like people are going to see me as a disgusting, gross person. And it's, I mean, I've become disorganized from my brain injury. Before that, I was still kind of disorganized. And now I've learned skills to be organized. But at night, the night version, like in Rick and Morty, you know, that version where they had the night thumbs. Um, it's like that. I'm scared. Is the night version going to take over someday? And like, I'm going to just gonna be a disgusting, nasty person. That's a big fear I have. Anyone else with DID, like, can they relate to at night, especially a complete disassociation? Because generally the other people, I know what's going on a little bit. I have no clue what they're doing at night. Zero. I almost want to set up a camera if I could, but I don't know how I'd have it go all night. Or if they'd turn it off on me to see what am I doing? I, I tell people, if you see me at night, don't let me get into food. I took another garbage bag out today of food. It's so embarrassing, like, when people see that side of me. And it's like, that's not even really the true me. That's what I'm dealing with right now. Okay, to anyone watching this, if you have ever heard of Seabrook Recovery in New Jersey, Bridgetown, I believe, let me know. I have an intake with them in about 30 minutes. And I'm really nervous because the reviews were really good up until about a couple months ago. And then they're all one and two stars. Sounds like a lot of drama's going on there, and it's kind of scaring me. Um, supposedly I can't go to White City for my mental health. I'm already in a rehab facility I really like that's 45 days long. They do 28 days, and everything I read about it was for addiction. Addiction is not my issue. My mental health is. I really need to work on my mental health. So if Seabrook really just specializes in addiction and just a little bit of the mental health, I don't know why I'm not just staying here. It's also not veteran orientated. They say there's two classes a week that has to do with veterans versus where I'm at now. We are all veterans. And I forget to appreciate that I'm accepted and treated very well because I'm looked at as a fellow vet. Um, whatever people's personal views are on me being trans, they kind of leave them at the door 
and just treat me as a vet, which I forget is a really positive thing that I have completely forgot about. I'm so used to being treated with respect and kindness here at On Virtue that going into a civilian place and on the East Coast, you can say, oh, I, we don't tolerate it here. Yeah, you might not tolerate it, but I can feel that energy. If there's people that like openly don't get that I was a veteran, that understand what it was like to serve, um, they might have certain stereotypes about me, certain negativity, and that really worries me. I'll be honest, addiction is not my issue. Addiction is a side effect of my mental health. This Trish, she struggles. Prissy Trish, she doesn't want to use. It's the people that um, just don't give an F. And so they're not gonna come out at rehab. They're not gonna come out to learn about addiction. And to be honest, I know these things. I would work them if I was the one in charge. Usually I wake up in the middle of an addiction or at the end or in detox. Those are my issues. I need something specific for DID, something that is just gonna work on the mental health. I don't even really need to hear anything about addiction at this point. White City told me I could go back there after I worked out my mental health issues. So why are they sending me to an addiction place? Who knows? After I talk to them, I might have a completely different mentality about it. But between reading their website, which makes almost no mention of the mental health side, it's all addiction orientated. Um, and I'm kind of worried. They're like, no provocative clothing. Well, anything this girl wears is going to be sexually provocative because I'm in it. I could be wearing a sweatsuit and it's going to be sexually provocative. No headphones. I need my headphones to calm things down. With no voices, not voices, thoughts, everything gets just so loud. I need to listen to music to get into a rhythm to quiet them. Again, it's Seabrook in New Jersey. S-E-A-B-R-O-C-K. You know, I mean, if it's something that people say is really going to be good for me, of course I want to go. I want to do the very best I can. But I don't want to walk away from a place that is like working for me at a B level for a place that's working at an F, D, or C level. I want A. And when I say it's B, it's A for 99% of the people here. It's B for me just because I don't have that extra concentrated mental health part. So by giving virtue a B, that's for me. If I was to recommend it to a fellow veteran, I give it an A, completely 100%. Um, I have special needs that you can't expect every place to have. And that's kind of why they've been looking for another place for me. But here, the staff is awesome. Everyone in the staff is awesome. And what's good is <clears throat> everyone that's been here is awesome. Even if they, like, at first kind of had weird vibes seeing me, they see how other people interact with me, and within no time, they're my friend. Um, I don't want to go into having to deal with drama. I hear there's a lot of drama there. Um, I hear the staff doesn't care about you. Um... You can't say that about this place. This place, there's not a single person that I would say doesn't care a lot about me. Do some people have off day back? Of course, a lot of people are here and they're also in recovery. I'm not gonna judge them because they have a bad day. I look at the overall picture and overall picture has never been negative. I can say that with most people at VAs too. Um, most people overall are good people and they're doing what they think is right. I just disagree with what they think is right. So I know this is long. I will come back on and say how it went. Uh, anyone has any recommendation for what I should ask them? Let me know in the comments before 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time here in um, Astoria, Oregon. Other than that, wish me luck. Of course, like they have like their name in the rainbow, and that's all.